This program was brought to you by Kola Institute of Venture at Tel Aviv University. I'm, I'm going to switch topics and give you uh, a biology view of water and how water may uh, sustain different life forms, uh, also resourceful for the exploitation of uh, products of marine origin and how the these products may be uh, used in uh, biotechnology, marine biotechnology, for the benefits of uh, mankind. So uh, I'm going to quickly and briefly jump into the subject of my presentation. Uh, I will be talking about uh, deep sea hydrothermal vents uh, systems. These are ecosystems uh, entirely built upon uh, chemiosynthesis. This is a, a process uh, from which bacteria, are you listening to me well? Uh, okay. Yeah. This is a process by which uh, entire ecosystems are built upon um, the oxidation of uh, reduced compounds emanated from vent activity from vent fluids. So these, these um, uh, bacteria, they are produce um, 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 compounds, uh, 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 nutrients that will sustain an entire um, uh, community. Uh, these are uh, very unique places in the world at the bottom of the sea floor. Uh, they are characterized by uh, uh, different uh, parameters as you would um, a feel here at, at atmospheric pressure on the surface. Uh, so in total absence of sunlight, the low levels of oxygen, low pH, um, heavy metals uh, concentrations in the fluid, also intense seismic activity and unusual temperatures from, from the, vent, the vents. So all this characterizes different um, um, hydrothermal vents in the vicinity of the Azores, this is nice. So Portugal has got these um, uh, places where to go and exploit their biotechnological resources potentially. Uh, we um, are accustomed to visit yearly uh, three different places or, or, or vent uh, sites. Um, and they go from north to south, Menace, Gwen, Lucky Strike, and Rainbow, and they differ also in depth. So uh, at this site, what strikes you is, is the uh, incredible biodiversity. Uh, I'm not going to go much into detail about biodiversity. They are mostly invertebrates, but also uh, chemiosynthetic bacteria. Uh, this is a picture just to show you how um, uh, different is this in, in uh, biodiversity, uh, where you can find fish and crabs and mussels and uh, in, in huge bacterial mass. mass. Uh, in the mills of uh, venting activity where you can see here at the bottom, the right corner of the panel. My interest in, in hydrothermal vents is this animal that is shown here. This is a mussel, very much like the mussels that you would eat at the restaurant from coastal waters. This is the one that lives at the bottom of the sea at the vents. Uh, and it relies its uh, survival on endosymbiotic bacteria you can find in the gills right there. Can I point with this? Yeah. Uh, here. These are bacteria that we uh, have uh, studied and, and localized by special molecular techniques. <clears throat> I have also looked into the immune system. This is what uh, uh, drives my research, the immune system and how these animals cope with uh, infections from, from the microbes in the environment. Uh, we have seen uh, antibacterial activity and also some constituents in their blood that can aggregate bacteria. So these are uh, um, uh, immediate results uh, that at a certain point uh, has inspired us in a different way, in a different perspective. What if these products would actually have a potential uh, biotechnology use in, in cosmetics, for instance, or in pharmaceutical industry? So uh, we kept on looking at properties, biochemical properties. Uh, we have done some purification, but mostly we have uh, concentrated our 
uh, interest on the isolation of marine bacteria from different parts of this animal, from gills, from the hemolymph, from the threads that uh, hold the, the animal at, at, uh, on the substrate, uh, also all kinds of aggregates of bacterial origin. So we have built this collection of bacteria, whatever grows, without any special requirement actually. We just grow them on regular marine agar uh, substrate. Uh, just as a curiosity, uh, we have isolated a bacteria that fluoresces. You grow it in the test tube and it glows in, in the dark. Very interesting. We also have conducted uh, different tests uh, to characterize protease activity mostly from um, other marine invertebrates, not directly related to um, um, hydrothermal vents, but this is like uh, a, a side project. Uh, and then um, what also got us interested is the genetic information. What information is contained in the genome and how this information is translate, translated into genes and how could we, uh, uh, by looking at, at these uh, uh, genes, uh, how could we uh, um, um, perceive or, or, or discover new potential uh, products encoded by those genes that could have a use in biotechnology. So we have mostly looked at the RNA. Now, this is actually the physical molecule that contains your gene that will be encoding a, a protein uh, taken by ribosomes and made it into a, a molecule. And so we, we've done a lot of uh, genetic studies. In fact, we have created at that time the first database on a deep sea vent animal from the Azores, uh, entirely construct on this concept of sequencing the entire transcriptome. So I don't know whether you know this or not, but the transcriptome is whatever is, is expressed, is gene expressed at any given time in your cells, in your body. So we've done this. And we have organized this into an uh, interactive database. It's publicly uh, available. I'm not going to go into details. I just will tell you that you can search this, and you can blast your sequence from another animal, and you can get the protein sequence, a DNA sequence. You have all kinds of uh, identifications, all relating to uh, world databases. <clears throat> and this was entirely uh, based this work in uh, Azores and also in uh, mainland Portugal in a biotech center, which is called BioCant. <clears throat> uh, this genetic approach has also led us to the discovery of enzymes of microbial origin. So we have shown that most of the uh, enzymes uh, encoded by genes, the genes that we have discovered are proteases, but we can, we also found cellulases and lipases and all kinds of aces, which may have a uh, potential use in biotechnology. The ones that actually got my interest were uh, the ketinases acting as uh, antifungal, also alpha amylase for the starch industry and bioethanol production, the xylose, isomerase, whether or not you have heard of this, but this has been used for the generation of biofuels and also all the different enzymes acting on biosynthetic pathways that have been used for sugar monitoring at hospitals or for medical devices and also for bacterial detection. So a lot of uh, stuff here going on uh, with, with the database and how we can actually search exactly for what enzyme we uh, wanna, wanna see. Another type of studies we have been conducting in the Azores in my lab is the characterization of microbial diversity in two different uh, deep sea hydrothermal sites. One affected by uh, immediate emanations from the vents and another site away, six miles away from the venting activity. And what we have seen is actually the community, the microbial community is entirely different. Most interestingly, we have also found unclassified bacterial phyla. We don't know 
what it is, but they have been picked in our 16S sequencing experiment. I don't know what you know, what do you know about the 16S? This is a gene that has been used for uh, phylogenetic characterization of bacteria. So, hydrothermal vent systems do uh, harbor bacteria that we don't know anything about their origin or their classification, and hence a potential uh, 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 resource for exploration or exploitation of you know, by, you know, molecules or genes that could be used in biotechnology. So, just to conclude my presentation, and this is a, an Azorian perspective, it doesn't reflect a national picture or portrait of what is marine, biote marine biotechnology in Portugal and where does it stand. Uh, this is what is happening in the Azores. So, we are set to discover new products. Uh, by mostly conducting bioprospecting and also biochemical purifications and the isolation of bacteria and generating collections that we maintain uh, at the moment. Also very much interested on the genetic information by preparing cDNA libraries and sequencing transcriptomes and metagenomics. So we're still doing this and we will pursue this for the years to come, and this is something you probably know, how, what is the economical potential of marine biotechnology? Of course, in cosmetics, cosmetics, aye, cosmeceuticals, pharmaceuticals, anti-inflammatory products, anti-tumor, all this has been tapped in marine biotechnology and is still being searched for uh, new applications in these, um, in these areas. So thank you for your attention and I'll take any questions. Thank you. This program was brought to you by Collar Institute of Venture at Tel Aviv University.